Hello, ladies. How are you all? Uh, Merry Christmas. Christmas is, well, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. And I am recording Saturday's tutorial. Uh, I'm a little late, so hopefully, I mean, I'm not late with you girls, but I'm late. This should have been done already. So I procrastinated it. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to do a four-tier cake, and it's going to be a Valentine's cake. Um, so... We're going to start with this top piece. This will be the top of the cake. And I wanted it taller, but I didn't have a taller cake form. So I just took some scrap styrofoam that I had um, from like packing containers. Now, if you could get the cake form in a, this one's a four inch. If you could get a six inch, and I'll put a skew in for that um, for you girls, but I didn't have one. So I'm using what I got. So I just cut out two pieces to make it bigger. So let me glue those down actually. I stuck a dowel in there, but let's stick some glue on here. So the one I have is a four inch, but I need a six inch and I didn't have one. So I'm making one a six inch. So I wanted that top one to be a little taller. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and work with what you got. And this is what I had, so this is what I'm using. I'm going to just stick some glue. I'm going to shove that dowel back in there. And glue it down. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this in foam sheet. Um... And I have this pink foam sheet from Claudia's Decor. And Claudia has very large foam sheets. Let me show you one. God, there's just black hair everywhere. I don't know if it's from the brush or booker. <laughs> or the cats. Everybody sheds in this house, including myself. Hold on, I'm just trying to find one of those giant foam sheets. Well, I'll show you a red one because I already cut the pink one down. Um, this is just half of it. Look at how big Claudia's foam sheets are. I think this is bigger than my map. This is 36 inches by 26. So this is a 36 by 26 inch of foam sheet from Claudia's Decor. And I have them, she sent me them in uh, different colors. So I used pink on the cake. Pink. So I use this pink. I'm not exactly sure. God, there's hair on this too. I swear, everything in this house has freaking hair on it. Get off it. Um, so, I already cut these pieces down. So, I just wanted to make sure that it was wide enough to go around this form. So, just lay it down and cut it out. And when I cut my foam sheets, guys, I use a quick a quilting ruler from Hobby Lobby. Because if I just try to cut that straight, it's going to be totally crooked. So you're going to lay your foam sheet on your um, cutting mat here. My mat's really dirty because I've been prepping this cake all morning. I can't believe I'm not done with it yet. You're going to lay your foam sheet down. Sorry. You're going to lay your, pretend this is a big sheet. Then you're gonna set it, line it up on your lines so it's straight. Then you're gonna set this on it and then just take your rotary cutter. I was like, oh my God, I can't remember the name. Line it up with your lines where you want it cut, hold pressure down on this ruler and then cut it, okay? That's how I cut my foam sheets. This thing is a must for cutting foam sheets. Hobby Lobby. So I already cut it down to size. And then for the top, um, just set it, set this down. I'm using this as the top, not this cut piece. You know, the real foam sheet, the real 
um, styrofoam cake form. Put that down and trace it with your pencil and then go ahead and cut it out with scissors for your top. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue that top on and I can see this cake form. I have pieces, see that? That's not gonna line up straight. Do not put that on very straight. There. All right. It's still not very straight. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to the top. And I did use tacky glue on this part. Oh, it, can't, it opened right away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tacky glue up here. Yeah. And go ahead and spread it around, especially on the edges. Just the length of that. And then go ahead and stick your foam sheet right on top. That all down. I should have turned that over because there's pencil, pencil lines I can see. Oh well. <laughs> My camera needs to come down more. Hold on, guys. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that tacky glue on here, too. So I got, I got, I haven't even wrapped presents yet. I've been procrastinating everything to the last minute. Mike was off for a week on vacation. So I literally did no crafting that whole, I probably haven't crafted or made anything in about two weeks. No lie. I've been in lounge mode. Very lazy this month. I'm very lazy this month. I'm not gonna lie. It's just one of those things. All right. So once you get that all covered, hold on. Let me wipe off my hands because I got glue all over them. Get off me glue. Ugh. I am such a messy crafter. You're gonna take your foam sheet. And I try to line up with the top, this round piece. So I'm literally gonna line that right up against there. So those line up and meet right at the top. Actually, let me do this this way. Turn that around. Make sure that you're pushing nice and snug on this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that extra See where that wasn't even? I got a bump right there. I'm sorry though. Now I gotta cut that piece right here where the seam is, which I suck at. <laughs> but here we go. Could have been a 
little smaller. I still need to cut just a little bit more. I think it was that straight. Guys, it is so windy. It was raining all morning. And we're supposed to drop 40 degrees within four hours. So all that's going to turn into ice. All right. So I think I got my seam pretty good. Now I just need it to stay there. So I'm going to take a little hot glue. My low temp glue gun here. Because it's not going to stay. And I need it to. So just try to get your seam as good as you can get it. It's as good as I can get it. And then I'm going to trim the bottom part so it's nice and straight. Just set your scissors along the top of the cake and cut. Along the top of the cake, cut. Along the top of the cake. Well, actually, this is the bottom of the cake, but on this form, cut. Uh, this cake was inspired from Pinterest, by the way. And you can see the bottom. I didn't really push as I did that cake form because I don't want that to lose its shape that piece as I cut. So that's going to be the bottom of the cake. So we got that part done. Now I did wrap all the cake forms in the foam sheets, uh, white and pink. And again, you can get those from Claudia's Decor, those really big ones. And you'll, you'll need one pink and one white. Okay. So that's the top cake. And I did prep a lot of this cake because it is a little time consuming. It's not a hard cake to do, but it is time consuming. Uh, I have a cake form from Hobby Lobby. And then I needed a bigger one. Uh, so I just used um, a pizza tray. No, on this one, I, my pizza tray wasn't big enough. Um, you know those things you put like your dip and then it's got the little trays for your dips and stuff i used i have a big round one so i used that as a template to trace this on a foam board this is dollar tree foam board or you could buy the bigger cake form um from hobby lobby this cake form is a 14 by 14 this actual cake form from hobby lobby is a 14 by 14 and then i needed a bigger one so i just used a dollar tree foam board and this one is almost 15 inches so it's just a little bit bigger than the cake Dollar Tree, our um, Hobby Lobby cake form. All right, but then I needed a space in between that wasn't very tall, so I cut a smaller cake form, and this is actually the size of the bottom cake, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and I'm gonna put this in between both cake forms because I needed the one cake form just to sit up a teeny bit higher, and I'll show you that when we get to that point. I don't know what he's barking at. I, I ordered something for Kayla on the 13th, and they still have not even shipped it. Is that not ridiculous? Oh, so annoying. All right. So let me grab the bottom cake form. Hold on. I'm trying not to touch this one because I just did it, and it's still drying. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Stay. Stay. All right. So this is the bottom cake form. And yes, I did start it. This one is a 12 by 12 inch cake form. And I'm just going to put the link in for the five tier. I believe this was the five tier. I didn't use the bottom one. I just did the, the four. The bottom one was really big and I didn't want it that big. Uh, but I'll put the link in for the five tier cake form. You're only going to use four. Uh, I painted. So again, I covered it all in the white foam sheet. 
And then uh, this foam sheet, though, is the Michaels, that foam roll that I use all the time. I had just enough to finish this piece. Um, but again, I think Claudia's will cover this, too. Um, but the dot, this foam, the white foam roll was from Michaels. So I covered it just the way we did the pink one. And I painted it white just because my white foam roll had scuff marks and it was dirty. So I had to paint it. So I painted it all white and then we're adding gold. So I cut the white foam sheets again with my um, quilting ruler. These are a half inch, okay? Right? Yeah. These are half inch strips that I cut with my quilting roller. And then I painted, painted them gold. And I'm using this Deco Art um, Gold Metallic paint from Hobby Lobby. You guys, the easiest way to paint these foam strips, hold on one second. And I need more. I thought I had enough painted and I don't. Is to take a Dollar Tree foam board, put your strips down and stick a pin in each end of your um, strips and then paint them. Blow dry them, paint them. These probably took about three coats or spray paint. I do have gold spray paint, but it wasn't the same gold as some other things. It was just not the right color. So I did paint these with this. But paint your strips down on each end so they're not moving on you, okay? I thought I had enough painted, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to paint more. But for now, we're just gonna use what we have. Pull it up. Oh, shut up, Booker. I don't know if someone's at the door or not. All right, so then I try to do about one inch in between. You kind of want to make sure they're both spaced the same amount. And then I did try to mark it with my pencil. You'll see I got little pencil marks on there. Well, that wasn't working, so I got to erase all those. <laughs> um, because once you put this down, then it's not one inch. So then I just started eyeballing. I'm really just eyeballing now. And I thought I would get four pieces out of one strip, but I think I only got three. And that's because I'm coming up over the top a little bit. That way, when I put the next cake down, it lines up with it. All right, so I'm eyeballing and making sure they're about spaced out the same amount. I'm gonna take my glue. And make sure, I always use low temp when I'm uh, doing fake bakes. Line it up, and again, I'm eyeballing, hopefully. And make sure your lines are straight too. And you're just gonna put those on there all the way across. So let's do another one. I'm gonna cut it about right here. Let's just grab this piece and line it up. Well, actually, I did get four. So you did get four. Put your glue on here. Oh, every time I'm recording, they have to go outside. It's ridiculous. I think they do that shit on purpose. <laughs> that one's way too close. Let's move it over. If you see glue, try to wipe it out. Trying to cover up my pencil lines there. So that's what you're going to do on this one. You're going to cover it in the white foam sheet. Uh, paint your white foam sheet if it's dirty. Mine was dirty, so I had to paint it. Hold on, Lewis. Every time, I swear. Try to space them out evenly. Again, I'm eyeballing. So, you guys hold on. I just got to let him out. And then I gotta let him back in. <clears throat> Here, sugar. Come on. Turn out. Go. Yeah. You gotta go too? Come on. Go. Ooh, freezing out. <clears throat> well, we're definitely gonna have a white Christmas. <laughs> okay. Alright, we got one more piece and then I'm gonna have to paint more. I thought I thought four strips would be enough, but it really depends on how far you're spacing your stuff out. 
And apparently I did not cut down or paint enough of these. Oh, that's way too far over. Move over. Move over. Oh, God. Does that look straight? Wipe that glue out. All right. Let's cut that even. All right. So just pretend I had enough to go all the way around. So this is the bottom part of the cake. Then the second piece I covered in pink. Okay, and then I did this scroll decoration, which was ooh, a little tedious because I have such shaky freaking hands. And I also did it on the top. This piece, and I'll show you how I did that in a second. Again, I covered this piece with the foam just the way we did this one the pink and this one's going to go right in the middle right here and again hold on guys just want to make sure that seams in the back this is still wet I just did this a little while ago uh this puffy paint takes a while to dry so I'm trying to be careful all right so that's going to be the second layer Okay, so to make those little scroll marks on the pink foam sheet, I use Puffy Paint and Gold from Hobby Lobby. And this one little thing did all that. I picked two of them up because that's all they had. And I was hoping that would be enough, but one was plenty enough. And I still have a lot in here. Hold on, guys. I got the dogs in. I'm going to kill these animals. barking at. All right, so you're going to do the scroll thing with the puffy paint, and I did go ahead and do that because I needed to hold, you know, this in my arm, and, and it was very, but I'm going to show you what I did, and I kind of just, again, looked at the picture of the cake on, on Pinterest. So I started on the bottom, and I do go at an angle, okay? So you're just going to draw a line, add an in. Let me use a Sharpie so you see it better. You're going to, with pencil, not with a Sharpie on your cake form, on your um, foam, you're just going to go at an angle and then do a little circle like that. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Like this. Then... On the bottom of that line, I come over and do another small circle. And then I bring a line up and do another circle. And then another circle. So I just did that all the way up the cake. Okay, so it looks like this. And then you start again at an angle And you're just going to do the repeated thing. And I drew out, you guys, I did draw out with pencil first before I went in with the puffy paint. Because it would have been all uneven. Uh, so I drew it. I, I just did what I did on the paper on the foam sheet with pencil. And then I went over the pencil with my puffy paint. And I did that all the way around the cake form. Now, it does get a little tricky if you want let half dry and then come back and do the next because you cannot set this down. I literally had to hold this whole thing in my hand. And hold on, I'm trying to pick it up for you. And without touching nothing. So I literally held it like this. Actually, let me grab my... <laughs> Please don't touch it. I held it and I did it. And it's not the perf. It's not perfect. It gets a little bumpy. Some places got fatter. Um, but that's all I did. I held it in my hand 
and I went all the way around and you just got to try to hold in between where you don't have that scribble okay so that's how I did that this one is gonna go on top of this and I will you can stick a dowel in each end and glue them down and put a whole bunch of glue in here and then glue this I'm not gonna glue it right now because I still have to finish the stripes in the back and I, I don't have any painted right now so we'll just pretend for now it's a front-facing cake Even on there. So, so, so far, that's what it looks like. And then we have a white one. So I covered this piece and this one. And again, I'm just gonna put the five tier cake uh, form up. It probably is the cheapest way than buying all these separate. Uh, this one is an eight by eight inch. And this one is going to go, now that's not dry yet, so I don't want to set this on there. But this one's going to go right up on top of this one. But for now, I'm going to decorate this not on there. So what we're going to do with this, again, it's covered with the white foam sheet. And then I did paint it uh, a, a few times. I felt like some spots just weren't covering with the white, which was so weird. But it looks pretty good now that it's all dry. Um, we're going to use chain. So I have this, um, bead, bead, link, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, from Hobby Lobby, pearl trim, pearl trim in gold. And we're just going to glue and do little drapes like this around the cake. Just like that. So I'm gonna do this around the cake. And I think I was gonna draw that out first, but I was like, no, don't do that. Let's start with the back. I'm gonna stick a little piece of glue right there. That's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt, I think. Glue that there. There's glue webs. And I'm gonna determine where I want it. I think right about here. I gotta look though, hold on. And then you gotta make sure that they're hanging at the same length. Do I want it a little longer? Maybe a little bit longer. All right, so I'm gonna stick some glue right here. that. Uh, once I finish, I'll go back in with my tacky glue on this part and underneath follow it and I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so let's get the next one going. I want to make sure they're about the same spaced apart and I'm really just eyeballing. Which... <laughs> I'm not the greatest at. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go right here. Set that one right there. Wipe off the glue. Do that again. Is that even?
Was it time to feed Booker? Yes. Uh, see, I'm not gonna have, that one's gonna be bigger. But it's the back, it's fine. Cut this piece. Okay. So it looks like that. Now, I really want those to stick. So I'm going to come in with tacky glue. Oh my God, this brush is covered. I'm gonna come in with my tacky glue and I'm just gonna follow this down. And this will dry clear, so. And I'm gonna stick those. I don't want them to be flopping around. Stick them right in there. Do the next one. Uh, I got glue webs. I hate glue webs. And I'm getting it all over the beads. Uh, be neater than me, okay? Hold on, I think I could get some of this glue off me. It is so, I don't know if you guys can hear that on the camera or pick up the sound, but the wind is ridiculous. Okay. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. Yeah, see how short that one is and how wide that one is? Yeah, I, I didn't get these as even as I wanted them. Webs. Ugh. Let's just push that down. No, I just not want to stay. And then just wipe out the extra glue that you see that's above the beads or below the beads. done. Hold on, I gotta get the glue off. It's, ugh. It's sticking to me like crazy. I really wish I had a sink right at my table. That would be freaking amazing. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get all this glue off me. All right. So now 
I mean, it's not as even looking as I wanted it, but it's fine. So now I'm going to take where it goes up. And I'm going to add a little chain hanging down. And I'd say probably one, two, three, four, five, six beads long. Or pearls. Isn't that what it's called? Pearls. <laughs> and again, I'm going to take my tacky glue. Could you guys zip it with your barking? And I'm just going to put some glue right here. I can still see a bunch of glue. I did not wipe out. Um, and then I'm going to line that up right in the middle. As best as I can. Come on. Like that. Okay, so we're gonna do that all the way around. I should probably just use hot glue. But, so what I say, six, three, four, five, six. I just really thought this cake was pretty and I wanted to make it. Now I am doing it a tad bit. I was gonna do it uh, in red instead of pink, but I really liked the one I seen and it was pink. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna do pink. But they did flowers, I'm doing hearts because I wanted it to be like Valentine. Again, wipe out that glue. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Off me. This one's going right in the seam. Let's turn two, four, six. Got my fingers are so sticky it's pulling it off. Okay. Two, four. Two, four. Six. I'm so sticky. <laughs> I need to wash my hands. Okay, so it's gonna look like that so far. Then I took, um, I made some pink hearts. And we're gonna take pink hearts. Hold on a second. Okay, there's something else I still need to do up there. Uh, I'm gonna take these pink hearts and glue them just going to stick a little hot glue on here. Um, little tiny pink hearts that I made with a mold. And I'll put that mold in descriptions. And right where we had the chain hanging down, I'm going to attach a heart. So right at the bottom of the chain, you're going to attach a heart. Okay? And... Where's that mold? And I'm using that little heart. I didn't have, I only have big heart templates or medium hearts, but I wanted a small one. And this is the smallest heart I could find. I don't even know where I got that, but I'll have to look on Amazon for a small heart um, template or silicone mold or a cookie cutter cut out.
I'm recording. Hi, honey. Oh, my husband's home. I thought it was Kayla. You never know what she'll say. <laughs> How were the roads, babe? Okay. So, so far, it looks like this. Okay. Then we're going to take... Uh, hold on. I've got to grab them. So, I also... Um, hold on. I'm trying to... to say I have yes okay so where the chain hangs down I'm gonna cut two beads and then I did these gold little stars now these I did with white um, clay and then I, I painted them um, and that's on this mold and I did this one right here this little teeny tiny flower right there I don't have to find out where these molds are from because I honestly can't remember. I just have so many I don't remember where they all come from. But I'll find something. And I'm going to do the two little beads. And actually, I'm just going to hit a little hot glue on here. And at where the rope hangs down, we're going to attach that. Hopefully it's in the middle. And then I'm gonna attach a star, or one of these little flowers. Right here. Okay, so it's gonna look like that going all the way around. So again, I'm gonna cut off two small beads, hit them with some glue. Put that right in the middle. The glue webs are crazy. And then attach a flower underneath it. Get to the next one. One more. Ah. Oh, stuck to my finger. Don't do that. Trying to pull the glue up and it pulled it off. Stay right there. All right, so that's what that's going to look like all the way around. And that again will sit on top of the pink one. Oh, the glue webs. All right, hold on one second. <clears throat> so, and then this one's gonna go on top of that. So, for this one, the top piece, we're doing a cake form at a time. <laughs> for the top piece, we're gonna use the 
one inch strips that we did in gold over here, but these ones I'm gonna leave white. And I didn't paint these, so I'm just gonna put them up. And right where the seam is, I'm gonna start there. glue Ugh, glue webs are just annoying all right let's cut that right at the top let's do the next one and I'm just eyeballing the spacing other guys I'm not going to measure I pretty much eyeball everything So you're gonna do that all the way across on this, all the way around. Oh my God. The heat glue webs, they won't freaking stay off me. Let's do this. Oh, it's all over the gun for one. All right, let's try this again. Facing them out. Trying to be as even as I can. Wind just sounds brutal. I was gonna run to Target today, but I was like, nope. Because the cats are out of their favorite things. But they're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> it's just nasty out. to see glue. not cut. There's glue stuck to me. To those scissors. Those need to be cleaned. Let's 
course, scissors been through everything. <laughs> very sticky. Very, very sticky. Too sticky. I gotta clean them. Oh. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, that just flew right into one of my. Oh. Not cool. Okay. This is why I prepped a lot of the cake so you guys didn't have to sit here watching all the boring things over and over and over. So that is going on the top, but we're gonna do a frosting on the top with some foam clay. So we gotta roll that out. I just went to throw that in the garbage and completely missed the garbage. These I gotta wash. All right, so I need to clean this off, wash my hands. So I'm gonna be right back. finish up this cake so I'll be right back okay ladies I am back and I did finish cutting out the gold and putting it on there the strips because I did four more pieces and it took eight uh, strips total half inch strips eight pieces total um, the eighth piece I only needed one one strip off of it so I had extra but you're gonna cut down eight one inch strips to do this and now I'm doing the pink that's going on top. So I already rolled this out and I set my cake down on top of it. And then um, I went around and we're gonna do it again to the top piece. And I just did this all the way around to get that to look like that. And I can see a piece over here didn't cut when I pulled it. Let me just fix that. Oh, get off, Ma. All right, so I'm going to pick this whole piece up and lay it on top of that cake. That's the plan. So, I need my cake close to me. Uh, everything needs to get out of the way. Just put this right 
here for a second. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pick this up and set it on there. Oh, I should have had this over more. Hold on. Carefully. Oh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Come on. Pick it up. Lay it across the top. Oh, they fold it under. Let's pull it over just a little bit. Come on, move over. Uh, you didn't have to do those strips going up the top the way I did. I thought I had to, but it turned out I didn't. <laughs> and then I'm going to stick these down. Just push it down. Try not to use, put any fingerprints in here. Fingerprints right there. No fingerprints, because I do not want to go over this with water. Normally, I would smooth out the fingerprints with water, but then I'm just going to smooth out the little pieces here. So you're going to have that on the top. Now we can set the next cake on top. So the next cake was this one. Let's make sure that seam is in the back. The seam is covered up with the strip. Ooh, that's not drinking water. Uh, find what way you like your front. My clay is a little thick. Hmm. I definitely don't like that side. I don't like that. <laughs> I guess this will be my front. So I'm going to set this right on top. Now again, if you're shipping these, stick a dowel in them. Blue, you got to get off the table. Look, that is not drinking water. Kayla, does their water dish have water? Okay. All right, so I think I got it where I want it. So I'm gonna push down into that clay. Now, the pink on this is this pink is a lot pinker, so I might try to match the pink by mixing pinks, but right now I'm just going to leave it. But you know, this hot pink is not the same color as this foam sheet pink, and that might drive me crazy. Blue, that's, honey, I'm dipping my fingers in that. All right, so on the next cake... I'm going to grab that. Hold on one second. Yeah. Okay. So on this bottom piece, I'm going to take the one inch strips that we did and I don't have, you know, the big rolls anymore. So I could have did one piece if I had the big roll, but I don't, I just have the sheets. So I'm going to have to use two pieces, but I want to put a piece around the bottom of this, and it actually could have been smaller. 
makes me look skinnier. And I'm gonna glue this right around the bottom of this cake. All right, so I'm just gonna smack some glue on here. I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun Always drinking my water. Dude, there's water in the bowl. And, oh, I'll make sure it's on the bottom. Push it down. Push it down. Push it down. Get down. Okay. That right into the clay. I have glue showing right here. All right, and you would do a strip to go all the way around. I'm going to cut this strip thinner later, so right now we'll just focus on the front. All right, so I have that strip around it. And before I go any further, I'm gonna go, Blue, you gotta get off my table. He's driving me crazy today. Um, I'm going to take this off for a second. And I'm gonna go, and normally I would paint these, but I'm not painting them, guys. I'm not gonna paint it. So this is the foam board. I'm gonna go ahead and remember I had to cut one smaller so there was a space in between. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down. To this board. And I'm gonna glue this one on top of that. Now this white's really white. This is the foam board from Dollar Tree. It should be painted because it's not as white, so I am going to paint it because it's just not as white as the other board. And it's pretty noticeable. So let me just give it a quick paint. And you don't have to do the whole thing because you're only going to see the edge. Blue, will you get, I'm gonna lock you out of this room. You are driving me crazy. Stay off the table. You know you're not supposed to be on this table. Oh, am I in your chair? He usually sleeps in this chair. All right, let me hit that really quick with the blow dryer. I'm just gonna do one coat. It looks better than it did. Oh. Let me hit that with the blow dryer. <laughs> So you can get the cake on top of it. I can see brush strokes.
So we're gonna glue this one on top. That one. So the reason why I wanted a space with the other um, foam board underneath there is because I'm gonna put trim around here. Now I want trim in that hot pink color, uh, but I forgot it when I was at Hobby Lobby, but I'm just gonna show you. I'm not gonna use this one because I'm gonna go back to the store after Christmas and pick up the, if they have it in the right color. If not, you can always use a um, strip that we used um, for on the cake and put that around and paint it pink. So we're gonna have one going around this one and one around the top. So let me show it with the pink. And I think this is 3 8 So this one will go around the bottom just like that. Okay, and then you're gonna repeat it around this one. I can't get it to stay, hold on. Stay up here. And then this one will come around. So it looks like a double layered thing. Like that, but I need hot pink and I don't have it. So, or you could paint this too. You could paint this that color or paint this. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I'm going to wait and see if I can find the color I need at the store. Or I'll just paint the strip. I'll probably cut this down just a little bit thinner than um, a quarter, a half inch. So maybe like quarter inch piece. All right, so we got that on. Now we're going to go ahead and glue the big cake to the bottom. And grab it. So this one's going to be on here. Get it where you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a whole bunch of glue down. Kayla's making dinner and it smells so good. I'm just staying right in the middle with all my glue. down okay so the next thing oh my god there's just glue webs crossing everywhere oh my god there's webs in all my stuff get out of here all right so the next thing we're gonna do um, remember, I got to do that strip along the bottom so it just, these, these look better. But for now, I can't believe I, I might have to paint, um, the foam strips and do that. I wish I just had one continuous piece though. That's why I was saying the ribbon would be better because it's just one long piece. Um, oh, okay. So I bought these beads, um, from Hobby Lobby. So let's open them up. And I'm hoping I have enough big ones because I just want the bigger ones along the bottom. So let me see if I can separate them. And like, yeah, there's definitely not. Let's pull out all the big ones. Now, also, I was going to say, 
Well, I'll show you when we get to the other piece. Hopefully I remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, let's just start gluing these down. So on the bottom of this form, we're just gonna take a ball, add some glue on it, and stick it there. Oh, clips. Man, my floor is a mess. Again, stick that there. Put them right next to each other. So do that all the way around. And I'm just gonna do some front ones and then I'll finish the rest after this tutorial. You don't need to see me glue all of these. I just thought this cake was so pretty. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it. So this cake is not hard. It's just a lot of tedious work because there's a lot of things you gotta prep. So it is a little time consuming. I've literally been in here since this morning and it's 6.30. <clears throat> That's the back. That's actually the back of the cake. No, I wanted the front there. I can see the seam on. I have to hide that. Shoot. Actually, it'd probably be easier just to do this. Jesus, what am I doing? I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> oh my God. It just takes me a minute to get there. This is so much quicker. All right, I'll finish the rest after. All right, so you're gonna do that all the way around the bottom of your cake getting to be so pretty. All right, so now we're gonna grab, and I'll hit this all with a blow dryer to get these glue webs off. Um, what's that my front? This is my front right here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the next cake to put on top. Which is this one. And this one's gonna go right there. go. So I'm just going to hit a whole bunch of glue. Right in the middle. And get there right where you want it. Push it down. So what I was gonna say on this one, now they had different designs on the cake, but I did hearts. And uh, 
I wanted where the flower was, I was gonna do a little small gold key, then a heart, then a little gold key, because I have gold key molds, but they were just too big. I didn't have a small, small one, so I did the flower instead. Um, but it's so pretty. I'm glad I did it in pink and not the red, even though red is very Valentine's, I just like this. All right, so now for the, now we're gonna go around this piece with the gold um, chain. And I do have this gold necklace that's bigger than this. So let me see which one I look. And I think I'm gonna do the bigger one just because we have that hanging with the smaller one. So let's see. And actually these are a couple different ones because they look like the gold's different colors. I think, yeah, see this gold is a lot brighter. So I don't want that one, I want this one. Okay, uh, these are like the necklaces you can buy at um, like the Mardi Gras to come in the different colors. Uh, at Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree Walmart. Oh, shoot, I forgot to put this away. Drying out. We're not, we're going to use that. I just ain't got that far yet. So let me pull this one out. I like, I like. Will that go all the way around? Let's cut it. So this one's gonna go around the bottom of this one. And we'll just hit it with some hot glue. Oh my God, there's stuff all over me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit some glue right along the bottom. that in there before that glue dries. Okay. Good, it's long enough. I was like, oh my God, is it too short? that going around all right and then oh my god there's just glue this is my part right here all right so the top one that comes up here uh we're going to do the frosting like we did on the bottom so we're gonna have to roll out this piece glue that down. Did I glue? Oh, no, I didn't. Jesus. Wrong piece. All right, let me wipe this up. <clears throat> I really was not expecting this to take this long. I try to make these as short as I can for y'all. Okay. 
Okay, so you gotta condition this. See how it just, oops, it's coming back to me. So that just, you want it like taffy like that. If it just rips like that, you want it to be like taffy. So warm it up. I think this piece is big enough. Flatten it out, get all those air bubbles out of it. Let's go ahead and roll it. With my huge roller here. All right, so this piece I might do in two sections because the frosting on this one is a little different. So it's gotta go like a V. So I'm gonna set that there. And then we're just gonna do like this. Stand up. And actually, that's too that's too much coming down. up real quick so I'm not doing whoops you didn't even see that so I put my cake on top of it so I know how big to make it what the hell was that huh. um, but I want this to come in at a point right here Just like that. All right. <coughs> so I'm gonna pick that up. Let's see if it's doing what I want it to do. It needs to be a little bigger, so I'm just gonna stretch it. And no, it still needs to come down more. So I'm going to stretch it some more. Actually, I'm going to roll it. Let's roll it. See how it looks. Let's stretch that down. That just got folded. It's too big. So 
nữa ha I think it needs more of a crooked at a better point. Yeah. So I wanted it like that in the front. Let's do that in the back. Just trimming it to make it the same length. Mm, it smells so good. It looks even on each side. No, one side's up shorter. Oh. oh, come on. Let me in here. Just try to make sure that you're even on both sides. All right. Now we're going to take, let me put this away. It's not the neatest looking, but... You can smooth it out with water, but I put my brush in that water, so I can't do that. And I'm just gonna leave it. Just make her sure yours is more smoother looking. You know, this. And I should have did this first and then cut and I might pull this all back off. Can I pull it up? Let me try. Because I don't like that I can see the little... And I, I forgot about that. I don't like that I can see these underneath it. And I should have cut these at a certain point. Because now the glue's up there. I'm just trying to show you. I forgot, I wasn't thinking. Well, I'm just gonna leave it. But put this on first and then do your strips because you can bring your strips right up to underneath it. And I was gonna do that and I completely forgot. And now I just messed this up. Well, it was kind of messed up. But see, you can see the strips through that. I don't like that. I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that piece anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut these off. I don't think that's gonna work. I should have did the top first before the strips. 
son of a gun. I can't get that glue off. Come on, glue. Let it go. I'll take this one around. Put your top on first to play. And then do your strips, please. I can't believe I forgot that part. And actually, the we're going to leave these too long. I'm just going to cover the whole piece and then shape it. I think that would be easier. Ah, oh, did I do it again? This piece, this piece. Okay. Uh, probably can still see the glue. Uh, all right, let's roll this back out. I'm still recording. God, I'm so slow. All right, let's roll this out real quick. We're almost done. So now I'm going to shape it. Wait, oh, and there's the tall one right here. I'm going to cut that at a point. This is just not coming out the way I want it to. that long one right here. This one's going to point. Still has too much. Still, um, sorry, I'm over it. It's just not going the way I wanted it to. Make sure that the sides are both even. This 
one's a little longer. show you what I mean in a second. This part I didn't do that great on. <laughs> this could be fixed right here. Come on. There's still too much. Got a piece on top. Yeah. I was trying to get it so it went to a point and then swirled down, but I'm sucking at this part. That's when you should stop and finish it the next day, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna leave it. You do better. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so now we're gonna take the beads. Hold on, let me just close this bag. Do it All right, so now we're gonna take this. That we used earlier. And we're gonna go around. See, that's why it was supposed to be to a point. Still don't like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and glue it. This piece looks like crap. It looks like crap because I did it wrong. And these sides should have been down a little longer. you're supposed to put the, this on before the strips. Oh, I'm so mad I did that. So I'm just going to go ahead and say screw it now. Done. Thank you. I'm going to attach these beads. Yes, thank you. I'm almost done. Oh, I'm so mad I did that. That's okay though, my cake's not for sale, so make sure yours is right if you're selling these. Oh, I just put my fingers in there. Try not to put your fingerprints in the top of the cake. Like I just did. Trust me, if I hate it that much, I'll redo it. But for now, I'm just trying to finish the cake. And you've spent so much time on it, you just want it finished. <laughs>
I know, honey. I'm trying to finish this. I'm coming. I'm gonna get some water and try to smooth that out a little better. But you want it like, you know, a curve. This side should have came down a little longer, you know, like, but that's what it looks like. All right, so that goes on the top. Let's push the key camera back up. Blue, you stay off my table. Let's find my front. This is gonna go, oh God, the glue webs. That one's gonna come right up here, like that. And then I'm gonna take one of these balls. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take one of these smaller balls. So there's three different sizes. There might even be four. We're gonna take the small ones now and one medium. We need small, 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 small. All right, I'm going to take the medium one and hold on one second. Er, let's see. This is the medium, the large, and small. I thought there were three different sizes. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Didn't I just show three different sizes? One. No. Oh. Right, I'm going to take one and put it right at the top where the you know, it was supposed to be like a curtain opening. Right there. And then we're gonna put small ones in front of white. So in front of all the white strips, you're gonna put a small gold ball. Oh, there are three different sizes. Get off my fingers. Is that small? I feel like those are medium. I don't know what size it is, guys. The smaller balls. They're going all in front of white. Just like that. So you're gonna do that all the way around. Glue webs, I swear. Glue. I don't like all that glue. Alright, do that all the way around so it looks like that. And then the last thing, well, these little beads, tiny, tiny, tiny. I wanted to do around the outside of this, one at a time. I don't want a clutter of them, but that's very tedious. And if you see it in the picture, you know I did it. You're gonna have to get tweezers and glue each individual one on, but it really is so pretty like that. Um, so I might do that. I'm not gonna do it on camera, obviously, but I'm showing you. If you see it in the picture, you know I did it. I won't be doing that tonight. Because it's already 7 o'clock. And the last thing I did was I took my blue. You get off my table. <gasps> All cookie cutters. That you can get on Amazon. Probably your craft supply store. And there's like the four different sizes. So I did hearts. Now these hearts will look much prettier when they're sealed. 
especially the pink and white ones. The gold ones I painted. Let me grab them. So they look very shiny. These will be very shiny once these this is dry. This I just made today, so these have to dry out before I can seal it and make them real shiny. And I will seal all clay in um, Duraclear, Duragloss, Duraclear and gloss uh, once um, it's all dry. But I have, this is the biggest one. This one's like smaller. So the biggest one, the biggest one, and I painted uh, that was like um, the goldish yellow clay in on my shop. And I went over it again with a gold paint and then a white one. So I'm going to stick, find your front, make sure you got your front. This is my front. And I'm going to put one here. I'm trying to think of how I want these. I'm going to stick this one here and I'm not even going to glue them yet. One like this. And then a white one off to the side. Okay, just like that. And I'll hit those with glue after. And then up on the top of the cake, I'm going to do it again. And they had some bows coming down. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. But up on the top of this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Should I do those on the other side? Or should they be up here? Hold on, guys. I got to look. No, I was going to do a big one up there. I don't know. I don't know. I think these are just too big. I originally made them to come right here, but these are way too big. I might have to make a smaller pink one. Let's see. Let's get that like that. I can't get it to stick. Stay. Just stay for a second. Alright, let me hit it. Oh, let me look. And then uh, the pink one on top. Let's see, this one would go. Hold on, guys, I'm just trying to figure it out. Let's do this one right here. And I made some bubble little heart ones in red. Okay, these would look, and I thought maybe pop in red, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, and I made four of those. And these I did with a small mold, and I did two of them, you know, not as thick. And then I stuck them together and just put my, I wanted them to look like the bubble. But I don't think I'm gonna use those. I think I'm just gonna shove that pink one right there. And that's it. That's my Valentine's cake. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. All right, guys. I am done. I love it. Now, the only thing I still want, and I'm going to get to it, is the gold little small beads around all of that. All right. I hope you guys love it. I think it came out so pretty. All right, girls. Merry Christmas. I love you all. And Happy New Year. Bye. Hey ladies, uh, I just want to show you uh, something I did after I ended the video. Uh, so instead of using those little small beads that you would have had to put on individually, I just used the trim, where is it? I just used the beads that we did up here around this part. So I just glued that all on with hot glue, my low temp glue gun and uh, 
follow it all the way around. So I just ended up using this instead of the small individual beads because that would have took forever. Um, and, oh, and then I added the rope trim. This. I added that right here where you could see the seam from the side foam to the top piece. So I just put that there to hide that seam. And I did the same thing on the white. So it's here, here, and then I jumped down to the boards. And I did do the pink, and I just ended up cutting a very skinny strip of the foam sheets. I Because I was like, screw it, Lord, just do that instead of running to the store. Uh, so I cut that down um, into a very skinny quarter inch, probably quarter inch strip. And I glued them to the foam board and then I did the gold trim here that's here in here so I carried it down there now on the top I added that one heart but of course we have white gold and pink so I thought let's make a medium white because that's a small pink so I did the white but I didn't have a gold um or not a gold a heart template that was bigger than the biggest well I mean I have big ones but I don't want a super big one so I just rolled out foam and made a heart I just rolled it out and then just did a heart shape I just cut it out with this and then smoothed it out with water and painted it all right and I stuck dowels in these ones to hold while I'm painting the front and back and as you can see some of the back came off uh and I don't have white foam clay were out of it uh to grab your chicks out of white uh so i just used a light color i think that's like the golden yellow and i painted it white and the same thing this was i think the skin color and i painted it gold uh, i stuck dowels in them so i'm going to cut these down a little these are a little long and i'm going to stick them Up in the cake. Let me grab my little tool. So let's see. I'm gonna move this a little closer. Let's point you up a little. These are still kind of wet, but I'm gonna put this one right behind. Let me grab my little tool. I'm gonna grab that skewer and stick it, push it down far as I can get it. And then we're going to add the white one. Oh, right here. This is, this one's still kind of wet, so I'm going to grab this. Come on. Go where I want you. I can't push it in. white on the gold because my paint is still wet because I'm impatient. Okay, let's push this one. Oh my god, it doesn't want to go. Holy crap. Okay, let's push that down. There we go. And that way it's got um, a part on each. kind of wanted that to lay down more. I'm just gonna push it down there. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you what I did. I think that's all I did. I added the beads on here, that trim bead, the rope here, here, and down on the bottom boards, and then the gold hearts, or the rest of the hearts. So, that's my cake. It's so pretty, I love it. And, oh, I gotta finish this white piece right here. Oh, shoot, I still have one. I was a little short, so I'm going to have to cut a piece and finish that. But other than that, it's done. Um, and then again, once the clay dries out, I'll, I'll seal them so that white and pink will pop even more. The gold's popping because it's a metallic paint. 
Uh, but the other ones look pretty dull compared to the gold. So once those are sealed, I'll, uh, it'll look so much better and I'll get a picture. But I love it. It's so pretty. All right, ladies. Have a great day. Merry Christmas again. Bye, everybody.